Love this podcast? Support this show through the supporter feature from Acast. It's up to you how much you give and there's no regular commitment. Just hit the link in the show description to support now. Am I still on? Convert your children. I'm furious. Sitting this one out. Think I'm done with it. Welcome aboard. That was band is lit as usual. Tight tonight. Speaking of tight, we're gonna keep this tight tonight. Oh, it's you know, come on. Someone's got their sounds turned up on their phone. Who does that? This is not what you want to see. I want to see this. Yeah. Yeah. Parliament apparently will be dissolved and an election writ dropped on Sunday. Justin Trudeau wants a majority government and he can win one with about 37%, actually less, with five parties. If the vote flattened out, he could win with... 20%. You see how it works? Anyways, the case for proportional representation is... I don't know. Stalled? Non-existent? Trudeau was elected by saying that we wouldn't use first-past-the-post for... This is the last election that we would use first-past-the-post for our elections. And... Nothing happened. Similarly, he's lied to us on other issues. So, if you pull 5 or 10% of the vote, or 30% of the vote, or half the country, 60% of the country can be unrepresented as far as their votes go. So, I haven't heard from Fair Vote Canada in a long time, but I don't think that that's something that we're going to see in the, even the distant future. So, and I'm afraid that uh, Trudeau ekes out a majority government with a number like that. And I'm afraid for what happens if he gets majority control. You know, so I'm voting uh, PPC and Max Bernier. <laughs> That's it. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out. That's the shortest show I've ever done. Seven oh five. Good night now. <laughs> Just Denny was a pretty interesting conversation. I would. Uh, invite you to go check that out well this thing actually got some traffic this is a small account this is my third account okay i had jim fannin it had ten thousand followers and it was a fun account because i got a lot of action 
and then I had, and then after I was targeted by lefties, I was reverted back to my Jim Fannin show, which had twenty some odd, twenty six hundred, I think, followers. And then I started this one. I had about sixteen hundred a little while ago on my Team Niagara, which used to be my old realtor account. <coughs> And I still, what have I got left? I've got a couple more, but I hope I don't have to use them. <laughs> Try not to say hateful things or mock people for their uh, uh, marginalizations. I don't know. Josh Denning was pretty good. I finally got this video up today. Biden, uh, Hunter Biden was in the news again today for cutting another video in a hotel room with a cokehead. Um. Uh, Max has been talking a lot about the Vax lately, only because he was being asked so often. He came out with a video last week and said, well, I'm not taking it. I think I'm pretty healthy and at low risk. And I think that you should have the freedom to do whatever the hell you want. I think you'll find that Max is pretty consistent with his message. If it fits in with what he believes, and it's, he's got four principles, and he takes a certain look at it. I like Max. Last night, uh, we played some beats. I'm on day two of my CBD journey. So I've I've dosed w three times. Twice yesterday and once today. I'll dose again before I go to bed. Which is probably in about 13 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have got to check out Devin Tracy. Oh, well, let's do that now. Um, this is not behind the paywall. This is on YouTube. And he usually does a little uh, musical intro, so it's kind of fitting that I've got it turned down. I guess it doesn't match, matter, but this is Atheism is Unstoppable. And, I mean, Gavin's on vacation so there'll probably be no live tonight which usually he went he, he was he was on Kevin used to be on Thursdays and then he moved to Wednesdays and then he moved back to Thursdays and it, it doesn't compete with Crowder anymore <coughs> I mean he's on vacation he's just been putting up stuff from the vault but if, if you go to censored.tv which you can see here let me recrop this before I'm in frame for you uh, I think you can go to censored.tv and they have a section called From the Vault. And I think that you do not have to be a subscriber to watch that stuff. In other words, it's free for you. Everything else is behind the paywall, including this. But Devin Tracy, who is atheism is unstoppable, will put half of it up so you get the idea and it makes you want to subscribe, I guess. But, I mean, this guy is just coming hard. Scene, seriously he's hard around. he's now he's, things up. He's, he's going after chink uger chink is um well as you're going to find out is overweight and brown chink is also a, a, a serious hard lefty and and basically he tells lies for a living like cnn chink is a thin-skinned um I guess you call him entertainer, almost like a news anchor-ish personality. But Chink really, Uger, is it? Yeah. He's all of those things and, and probably a bag of chips on top of it. But Devin Tracy is a talent. Like, I come out here and I just wing this. I don't want to be here tonight. I, I broadcast, I've been broadcasting all week. My channels are dead. Um, oh shit, am I not back on my, is that, no, no, TrueTube's up, TrueTube's good, but, uh, Facebook's, uh, Facebook is down, so, yeah, well, that, that one's dead, everything else is going out, but it's, it's summer, it's seven o'clock, it's beautiful, go catch the sunset, this guy's putting out classic, classic, hard-hitting humor 
and I don't know. I'm just going to play it from the beginning, and I, I don't know where he makes it. Like, he made me laugh a few times out loud, so we'll just see how it goes, whether you like it or not. He's flailing as a figure in media. Shit, shit, shit. The producer's flailing badly here. So this is um, somebody apparently... I think Chink addressed the fact that somebody was calling him a fat buffalo, but it's actually brown, a brown fat buffalo. A fat brown buffalo. <laughs> he was just saying brown buffalo, but it's actually a fat brown buffalo. So, And Devin Tracy wants to take credit for it. And so during this clip, he plays the old clips of the original clips where he called him a fat brown, a brown buffalo. And this is, this is, the, this is some biting, hard-hitting political character assassination, I guess is what you call it. <laughs> Uger is back on the scene. He is prowling around. He's shaking things up. He's flailing as a figure in media. Everything is lost. You know, it's all been lost. So, I mean, he doubled down. He went all in on Bernie Sanders. That was his guy. He gave speeches at his rallies. He had him on the show. It was Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. He said, whisper of a dream. And the dream was a dream. It just, it never actualized. It's dead. He failed once. He failed twice with Bernie. It was miserable. He predicted the wrong outcomes of both elections. He swore Bernie was going to beat Biden. Oh, he guaranteed it. And then he told you Trump was going to lose. Oh, he guaranteed that too. And he was wrong. And even recently, they were pushing hard for Nina Turner, this black regressive bitch, and everyone was behind her, Bernie, AOC, Cornell West, all those people, and she lost. She lost to another black woman, a more moderate Democrat, and lost badly, by the way, just like Cenk did when he ran for Congress himself, and he swore he was going to win. He's the front runner. He's going to be in Congress. Just you wait. Here he comes. No, he's not going anywhere. He lost miserably to a UCLA graduate, and now he has his old friends to the left of him doing better than him and ripping him. So it's Jimmy Dore, and now it's Glenn Greenwald, and Kyle Kalinske. Like, all of these people are cutting ties with him, and his numbers are dwindling, I mean, very, very bad. And he tries to bolster it and say, no, on Facebook, and uh, we got the algorithm, and we got, we're got we broadcast in 100 different places. And he tries to add all those up, even though some of them are overlapping, or just bullshit inflated numbers. His live stream audience is nothing. And you know this is affecting his bottom line, so he's panicking, and he's trying to purity test and say, no, we're the real left, we're the home of the progressives. So recently, he was going after Emma Vigland and Glenn Greenwald, two figures in the far left, and he's in some sort of Twitter bullshit with them. He posted a tweet, which is interesting, as a reaction to an image that a guy posted on one of his little Twitter flame wars, and the guy just left a picture, the picture I've made, of Jenk's face on a buffalo, because I called him the fat brown buffalo. And I'll tell you why, because we gotta go over it again. And some guy just goes, just leaving this here, and Jenk reacted to it. He often reacts to this. This is like one of his favorite stories to tell. I mean, I just did a video where the intro was him talking about being called a fat brown buffalo. But interestingly, I mean, it really is a good insight. And I'm going to use it as an example to show you how twisted this guy's mind is and how he operates, how he distorts things, lies, omits, and just bullshits. The man's just a straight up bullshitter. <laughs> so like, for example, he stops saying fat. Fat is out. He used to talk about the fat part. I mean, it's, clear, it's not brown buffalo. It's fat brown buffalo. It's not like there's no confusion ever. And likewise, there's no confusion as to who started this. Now, this is a minor stupid thing, but it did pick up steam and it did have traction. And it's widely known across the internet that this guy is a fat brown buffalo. And it's not like anyone else kind of made that up. It's clearly me. Like, it's just, I'm the only person. I'm like, Jenk is a fat brown buffalo, period. It's in my video titles, my keywords. I've made multiple videos on it, talked about it at length, called him a fat brown buffalo for years. But now he kind of stopped saying the fat part, <laughs> which is fun, because it, the whole thing is we're insulting you. You're a fucking clown and a chump. You have the intellect of a buffalo. You are fat and dumb and like a huge dumb animal. And you're brown because you keep calling us white. So I'm going to diminish you and just label you the color of your skin. You're a brown guy. So when you say, hey, the white people, the white wingers, the white nationalists, the white this, the white Karens, the white privilege, all that, you're brown, dude. Okay, you're a brown guy. Not a guy, you're a buffalo and you're fat. So you're a fat brown buffalo. <laughs> no, in what world is a buffalo a badass? First of all, the buffalo got extincted. Now, now, wait a minute. Gink, no! Now, wait a minute. Gink, I'm on the left. 
Now wait a minute, Genk. Of course! Of course! Of course! This is meant to be an insult. But Jank, he's gonna own the insult. Watch, watch him get out ahead of this. <laughs> Look at him. So he posts this tweet. Number one, I kind of love this. I'm sure he does love just any sort of attention. But no, Jank, someone putting your disembodied head on a fat creature and calling you a fat brown buffalo is not a compliment and it's not something to be loved. We're all laughing at you, Jank. Number two, this is a reference to an alt-right racist attack against me by calling me a, quote, brown buffalo. Jank, first, it's a fat brown buffalo. But just look how many things are wrong there. I mean, it's already obvious to you. I am in no way alt-right. Okay, what part of this is confusing? Ask anyone on the internet who came up with fat brown buffalo. They will all say Devin Tracy. There's not a single person with a brain that would think I'm alt-right or call me alt-right. Not even remotely close. But I'm not surprised. He calls people like Jimmy Dore right-wingers. <laughs> Guys to the left of him, he's calling right. So, so those are the kind of rules that we're living in here. And he says it's a racist attack to call someone brown. So let me get this straight. Every time you've referenced a person being white, whether it be a cop or a politician or some person in a viral video, when you say they're white, that's you committing a racist attack. So the hypocrisy, the double standard, the straight up lie. I mean, this is a reference to an alt-right racist attack against me. How about this is a highly educated, moderate left Democrat mocking me savagely. That's what's happening. It's not racist and I'm not the alt-right. Now, here's the question. What matters? Does the truth matter? Clearly it doesn't matter to him. Does it matter to his fans? Will they care? Do they know? This is a microcosm. This is an example of what the guy does. He doesn't care what's true. He cares what his story is about something he's concocted to make himself look good, to make his enemies look bad, him look good. So yeah, it was racist. No, it wasn't. It was, um, he's all right. Okay. Leave out the fat part. Okay, so you have omitted stuff, you've lied. It's just, the whole thing is shambolic. Oh, he says, you racist fools will never understand that I don't mind being brown. No one said you minded being brown. We're just pointing out that you're brown. We're lowering you to your skin color, the way you do to whites. So you're getting your own medicine and you don't like it. The difference is when it goes back to you, you call it racist. But when you give it out, you don't call that racist. So it's not racist, it's racial. No one's making a value judgment. We're saying you're brown. Number three, this meme being used in defense of Glenn Greenwald isn't his fault, but it is so 2021. No, it's actually so 2015. That's when I made the thing. And how is this being left to defend Glenn Greenwald? He just posted my picture saying, here's a picture of you, you fat, dumpy, brown buffalo. It's just a guy ripping on you, Jenk. It has nothing to do with defending Glenn. There's no point being made here. It's just you look disgusting and fat, and you're brown, and you look similar to a fucking buffalo. Now, <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> because I have discussed this before, and I think it's time to revisit an old video I once did on the topic. I got this idea from Caesar Milan, the dog whisperer. He's changed ownership, companies, legal, whatever. He has a new channel, Caesar Milan, he's doing really well. But one of the things he does, and it's genius, he goes over his old videos and does reaction videos to his old videos. So it's a way of getting his old content on his new channel, but it can't be copyrighted because he's adding a transformative quality to it, which is he's commenting on it. So here's Caesar Milan talking about a time he got bit by a dog. All right, all right. Hey. So he gets he gets nervous. Look, mm -hmm. look, look. There's a box. It's not even me. All right. Hey. Now to respond. Yeah. So it's fun. It's good. Love me some Caesar. Reminds me. <laughs> I like that. Fight or flight reminds me of a recent video he did about a dog named Alfie. And Alfie had a choice. And Alfie, he made that choice. Caesar needs to work with Alfie immediately. So he rushes him to his nearby hotel. He needs to trigger Alfie's fear. Scroll through the YouTube comments a decent amount. I mean, 1,600 comments per video. We do 10 videos a day on just the Young Turks, let alone all the other network shows. Obviously, I don't read them all, but I skim. There's nothing... Don't say skim because that sounds skinny and that's nothing to do with you. You don't drink skim milk and you don't skim on your carbs. Because if you listen to any one commenter and change your product based on that, you're nuts, okay? But if 80% of the commenters agree, they're probably onto something. 80% of the internet agrees that you're a fat brown buffalo. Right, and so you've gotta have that umbilical cord between them. 
So the problem is the trolls. Hi, Gink. Well, here's the problem. Right now you're talking about me. You're about to reference the very thing that I coined in regards to you. And that is the fact that you are a majestic, fat brown buffalo. But the problem is I am not a basement-dwelling troll. If anything, I am one of many thousands of people who see through your bullshit. The only way to not see through your bullshit is if you are just either completely lazy or a reprehensible millennial scumbag who is looking for the path of least resistance and most virtue signaling. Now, you can tell this is an old video of mine because I'm using my old kangaroo. I don't use that image anymore. And it's static. I put in no effort. There's no music. The sound quality is shit. I don't animate anything. There's no transitions. It's just what you see is what you get. And you can also tell it's an old video because I'm bitching about millennials. Millennials are the least of our problems now. We got to deal with the fucking Zoomers. You're conning dumb people. If you'd like to watch the rest of this video, it's over at censored.tv. Oh, the best Go over there and was just coming up when he owns him. Oh, well, that, that's why they put out a little clip there. And if you want the rest of it, you got to go to censored.tv. Uh, Gavin should be live tonight. I don't think they will because I think they're on vacation. Who knows? Maybe they will be. But Thursday nights, 9 o'clock for two hours. They take calls. It's a fun show. Go check it out. What else we got? Fat Brown Buffalo. Oh, the dude. There was a couple good spots there. I think he saved all his good stuff for the uh, paywall because it's classic. Gold. Gold. Um, did I mention I'm on OnlyFans? Yep. Check me there. I don't think I've done anything yet. Um, yeah. Lots of broadcasting over the last couple of days. Oh, today I cut an interview with Eric Matheny. I think it'll be Saturday night, 7 o'clock. Eric Matheny was a good conversation. I got him for about an hour. We talked about American politics, basically, and the, the liberal agenda and uh, how they fix their election issues in the states. We talked about DeSantis a little bit. Uh, he's in Florida. He's a lawyer in Florida. And uh, where's Matheny? Matheny, Matheny. Uh, how come I can't, uh, where's my synergy? What the piss? What's going on here? I can never operate anything. Here he is. Oh, I should do this for the show anyways. A podcaster, social commentator, uh, co-host co of Bob and Eric Save America. He's also an attorney of law. And, uh, 7 p.m. Saturday night. When I get my fake book back. All right, that's it. Quick hit tonight. Peace, love, hug your neighbor, and rip that mask off your face. It's only punishing the people you love. I'm out.